Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video is kind of like a little reaction stroke request stroke update video. <clears throat> so basically it revolves all around the sprint mod that you can get for the Fantasy CSL pedals. Uh, and basically what I've been seeing in the chat and comments and stuff like that, that people are saying that they're all interested in wanting to get this, but they want to know how noisy it is. Some people are complaining, uh, well not complaining, some people have been saying that this thing's quite noisy and operational. So what I thought I'd do is, because I don't, I don't know if I did it in my last video, I'm not sure. But basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set the camera up in a minute. I'm going to put it, focus it right onto the spring itself. And I'm just going to do a couple of laps on F123. Uh, I'm going to have the sound through my headset, so you're not going to get any sound from the from the TV or anything like that. It's just going to be, hopefully, what you're going to hear from here. Uh, now, but let me just tell you what I've done. So when you get the spring, obviously you've got the metal part of the spring now. And then you've got this plastic bit at the bottom. Now when I, I can't remember if the reason I did it, I think it might have been for the noise reasons or it maybe might have been a bit of movement, but normally you put it around the other way. So the whole of the metal construction with the uh, the adjustment knob is at the top and then the rest of it's down the bottom. I've actually reversed mine. So all of the metal is based at the bottom. You can still adjust it, it's absolutely fine. But as you can see, it's in perfect operation. It's not, my, my thinking around it was I want to press down on all this metal rather than on just the plastic end cap uh, basically for strength and stuff like that and that's how I've been running it since I've got it and it's been fine ever since. Now I've not I've not really heard any noise uh, well, well like I said we'll put it on there in a second we'll run it so you guys can can hear it but I've, I mean yes I, I run headphones and I run with just speakers as well and this has never ever bothered me what's one, one bit by one, one bit. Uh, and also I play at night and no one's ever complained to me saying, Dad, Dad, the, the, your rig's too noisy or anything like that. So the only noise you do get, and listen, is is the return of the pedal onto the plate of the of the uh, pedal sis, of the, the foot deck, sorry. That's the only real noise you get. And that's like a clunk every time you do it. Some people don't like it. Me, it doesn't bother me one bit. So, so yeah, so what I do now is uh, we'll get the camera set up in front of this thing and we'll just... Do a couple of laps so you guys can see it operational.
Okay, so there you go, guys. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you heard or didn't hear how noisy this spring is. Uh, personally, I've, I've not got a problem with it. Uh, I'm not saying this for everybody. Other people, they might have a noisy spring. I don't know, but personally, uh, I, I can't see why there's any reason why mine would be different over anyone else's, other than the orientation that I've got it. But yeah, as you could hear in the video, you could probably hear me clunking away. That was me changing gears on the steering wheel. Uh, but yeah, I mean, in, I mean, the only thing I've done differently, like I said at the beginning, was to, to rotate this around. But I don't see why that would make a difference. Uh, but yeah, if you are looking to get this, I mean, you can get it for like 15, 16 quid. So it's not a lot of money and I do recommend it. I mean, like, so I think it does provide a good resistance uh, to the accelerator. The, the standard spring you get with the pedals are fine, but this spring adds stiffness to it. And, and I'll, that's what I like I need. So then as you're going around the corner, you can just modulate your acceleration a bit better, a bit better. So yeah, I do recommend it. And I mean, I don't know, you probably could stick like WD-40 or something like that on it if you do get it. Uh, but like I said, I mean, you saw the video then this, this, I mean, the, the change in the gears is noisier than this. So, so yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're running R in it, then you, yeah, I do recommend getting it. I don't, I don't think the noise should, shouldn't be an issue anyway for you. Okay, guys, so that'll do this for this video. Hope that uh, you got some use out of it and some information and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Okay, guys. Bye.